Hello everyone and welcome back to Ninetale Hobbies. In this one we're going to be working on my Night City Pikes uh, for Star Wars Legion, uh, but this works for any synth wave scheme that you've got. The bases I wanted to make it look like it was kind of a scummy underworld city Vegas kind of feel. So I traced out base on a little piece of plastic card and then I cut it into roughly the size that the base is. It doesn't have to be precise because you're going to be spreading it out anyway and having to trim it off. And then sand both the plastic card and the base to make sure that you get real good adhesion. I did originally try um, Tamiya cement on this, but it didn't have enough grip, so I just end up using super glue. Trace out a general pattern, something interesting. Uh, it can be just straight lines, and then you cut those out, glue them on, trim off the excess once the glue is dry, and then you can also, if uh, how you laid it doesn't have enough spacing in between, you can just come in with an X-Acto and kind of widen that gap just a little bit. This is an example of what you can do with a Zenithal. You don't have to spray everything from the top down like, like sun. You can use it as a light source. And this you can use a brush or a spray can. I use an airbrush and for people that are like, I don't want to use an airbrush. The reason why so many YouTubers do it is because it's fast. Um, I'm doing commissions now and that's the reason why I use it. But this is usable through anything. Uh, I wanted to give it a little bit of mood. So I did spray a little bit of blood red from underneath uh, just to give it some tonal value. And this whole thing was an experiment in mood. I used... 90% Army Painter speed paints on this. This is Malign Green. I wasn't worried terribly about everything being a smooth transition or anything. I wanted this to be more of a experiment in what lighting can do. Uh, the armor was done with Brunic Gray. I, I've learned that the AP speed paints kind of have a more of a punch once they dry. When you first apply them, they look really, really uh, watery and thin, but it seems like uh, as they dry out and everything, they're, they've they got a little more punch to them. And I don't have a problem with the reactivation. Um, I've experimented with it. Um, and only if you really apply it on thick or try to come in while it's still drying, uh, are you going to get that peeling effect? The cloth was done with Sand Golem. A great color. And I was also experimenting with colors. I didn't know what was really going to work and what wasn't. Very quick, basic base layer. And then I did one-step highlights. This is Vallejo Yellow Green. This is the only... The highlights were the only time I didn't use Army Painter Speed Paint. And I wanted to use like real big stark jumps and pretty much everything I did was stippling or hash marks because I, I, again, I, I didn't, I wanted a, a stark jump in value. You can see here how far that yellow green pushes everything. And this is just a off white. This is mummy white. You could use pale sand, anything like that. And I just highlighted the edges a little bit. And then I came in and did hash marks on all the armor to give it a real rough... It, it, it reads as metal really well um, instead of doing a real smooth, non-metallic metal blend. The highlights on each of these took 10, 15 minutes. And the whole batch of pikes probably took maybe three hours. But yeah, that's it. That's all of the, the metallic highlights. Um, and then I use Sunny Skin Tone on top of the Sand Golem. So 
that had that real kind of pink peachy again it was that big big value jump and this is to show that all of the lighting I can do, you can do with a brush as well as an airbrush. Um, the whip was done specifically with a brush, and that's how thin I, I thinned down the speed paints just a little bit more and came in with a big, nice, flat brush. And what you want to do is just hold it in one spot you don't rotate it at all and if your brush can't reach it then don't don't highlight that so this is this is the light value bouncing directly onto this and that's what I did I only had two light sources uh, and that's where the the zenithal came in instead of going all the way around so it's got real dark and real light and then this is plasmatic bolt this was a, a a big one that once it dried, how much more punch it had than than when it was wet. But these work as just a real nice filter over top of of the paints that you already have. Then just to show you, airbrush is just quicker. Um, it is a little bit smoother. Brush is a, a a little bit rougher, but I could have also spent some more time with my brushwork. And this is the purple alchemy and the plasmatic bolt. These are just great light source, power, weapon type filling colors. And the final step I did was adding glaze medium uh, to the base. Uh, this just gives it a shiny reflection, but you can use gloss Mod Podge or anything that's kind of got a sheen to it. Pretty straightforward uh, paint job, you know, synth wave, very mood and atmospheric feel to it. But I'll be doing my entire Shadow Collective or Night City Collective uh, in this scheme. And I hope that maybe this was helpful to somebody. Um, you know, don't be afraid to try this. This was a complete experiment for me. And I had a ton of fun, and hopefully you will too.